Hey, if you're watching this video, let's just have like a quick man to man talk over here. But uh, let me have my coffee first. <laughs> I think there's no shame in admitting that you are addicted to porn. Because the thing is, the hub that you used to watch is literally three clicks away. You go to Google Chrome, you type www.hub.com and you're already there. And uh, I gotta be honest with you, I was also addicted. In fact, I was doing it three to six times a day. To those who are wondering, yes, it's freaking possible and your dick basically dries up and there's nothing that is coming out after you release. It got into a point where I couldn't even get my dick up. I was tired all the freaking time. I have no motivation. When I even find the motivation to work, I was only able to work for like five minutes before my mind plays that, replays that favorite porn video in my brain because the brain fog was just so freaking bad. And I never had the balls, I never had the confidence, muster up the courage to talk to women because I would oftentimes imagine doing that dirty things with her instead of like going up to her and talking to her, connecting with her. Now, if you're watching this video and you relate with me so far, I have to tell you this one thing, you have to stop. It's time to stop. Because what I'm about to share is the side effect of watching porn and exposing everything because it's literally so f***ed up when you realize how bad it is. And I totally get it. You're watching porn because you want to relieve that pressure over here that has been building up. You just want to like bust it out like Ugh, or something like that, right? I totally get it, bro. That was why I was doing it like six times a day. But the more you follow what your brain tells you every single time, the stronger you reinforce that habit right and the worse you will get because you've been frying your dopamine every single day every time you watch that porn so imagine this with me together imagine that you're on a beach right and you're very thirsty you're looking for a drink it's much more convenient to run straight and drink that seawater instead of like climbing that coconut tree in order to get the fruit and drink that coconut water but we all know what happens when you drink salt water you get more thirsty does it so you drink more you get more thirsty you drink more and you get more thirsty and that is the same thing with porn and then you realize one day that regular porn won't even do it anymore it takes you longer than usual you take from five minutes to 30 minutes browsing for a perfect video don't you you go on to find more stimulating videos opening 15 to 20 tabs at once just to find that perfect video and that's probably why you develop weird fetishes don't you that's also probably why your attention span is just so screwed up i will talk about more about your symptoms but before this i have a story to tell you so recently i browsed reddit like just for fun and I stumbled across this one subreddit, which is just so screwed up, bro. And it basically filled with the most down bad people I've ever seen. So there was this like subreddit of people sharing their addiction to porn. And they don't even bother of going back to the normal life or even getting into a relationship with a woman. And it's so screwed up that they're just so proud at admitting that they're addicted. The most screwed up post that I saw was a post of a man in his man cave, which is like... A room filled with monitors and video games and all that stuff right so he posted a photo of his pc setup and there were like three monitors playing three different porn videos all at once and under that post there was an even more screwed up video it was just like a regular video but there were a music playing in the background and a woman voice could be heard so if i actually listen it closely it's more like a subliminal message or like more or less like an affirmation right so the woman voice on the background that was playing in the video right it was saying something like you'll never quit porn porn is the best porn is much better than sex it's like reaffirming that slowly into your brain that's just screwed up bro to the people who are watching this who have already had sex before even though i doubt that 90 percent of you haven't had sex before right <laughs> If you already had sex, you know that porn videos are so unrealistic to do. Like when I watched porn back then and the actor did this like one weird position, which is like, I think very, very uncomfortable and painful to do. But the actor and the actress pick it as if it's very, very enjoyable and they're both like moaning and all that stuff, you know. But some of you won't even care at all. You might think that, yeah, Albert, it's still sex anyways. It's your pee pee going to that hole, you know. But bro, <laughs> I have a question for you. When you watch porn, what do you focus on? You might skip like the kissing part or like the foreplay part, right? You just want to focus on that penetration, that genitalia sticking in into that hole or something like that. You just want to focus on that good feeling. And that's probably why it f***s your brain up without you even knowing it, don't you? And this is why you slowly start to see women as objects. 
not a human being anymore. You start to see sex as just a meaning to release, not making love. You don't even realize what it has done to you, does it? You're slowly training your mind to objectify women. That is probably why when you go to the gym and women wear tight clothing, you couldn't help but fantasize it. Imagine you're doing that very thing when you're at home, right? And the moment when you want to talk to your cross, you get so nervous, you couldn't even think of anything. I mean, of course, everyone, whether you're on NoFair or not, might feel nervous, but when you're addicted to porn, you would much rather imagining having sex with her instead of really, really connecting with her, finding out who she is, what her personality is like. You don't do that anymore. You didn't even realize it's because of porn, do you? Just think that, oh, you know, I'm just nervous. I It's been a while since I talked to women. Maybe I'll talk to her when the opportunity is spot on or something like that. But can you even think of the potential that you've lost? I'm not just talking about approaching women. I'm talking about chasing your purpose, working hard, staying focused, and becoming the best version of yourself. And I get it. It's fun. Watching porn is fun. When you release that, you get that six second of pleasure. But everything that is quick, that is bringing you a lot of fun, have its side effect. It will be detrimental in the long run. And same goes with the opposite. If there's something that's bringing you a lot of challenges, but once you really do it, it'll bring you a lot of serotonin and makes you much more confident about yourself, like going to the gym, doing that work that you've been avoiding to do. And that's the same thing whenever you resist watching porn, especially when this urges starts to kick in. And you might think that, well, Albert, there's no benefit in holding my urges in, bro. Go watch my 90 day transformation on Nova, bro. When I quit porn, I finally have the energy to do meaningful tasks. The task that seems very difficult, like going to the gym. Bro, right now, it's very uncomfortable for me to not go to the gym at least three to four times a week. Now, if I explain all the benefits to you, bro, it will literally take you hours. But uh, here's the thing. I think it's time for you to quit porn and start receiving the benefits from it. And I want you to put this thought in your mind right now. Whenever you resist the urge to watch porn, that is when you get better than the person you were yesterday. Look, I've done my part in convincing you to stop watching porn. The rest is totally up to you. Only you can decide to quit porn and start NoFap. Only you that have the power to create massive change in your life. Again, I've done my part. It's time for you to take action. And I have these two videos that might help you out in your self-improvement journey. Remember, if you go easy in life, then life will be hard. But if you go hard in life, then life will be easy. Find comfort and discomfort. See you in the next video. Cheers.